Wow, wow, wow. So um, I'm, I'm reading the uh, Brisbane Times, and uh, it's a dot com dot au. Um, and I don't. Okay, so it's an entertainment under music section, dancing and boys tune still resonates 30 years on. So uh, I'm talking about David Bowie. He is the. Uh, he literally reminds me of uh, the Cohen character. Um, <clears throat> that I posted a couple of days um, ago, I think a week ago or something. Um, you know, some of my friends look at my posts, and that's why I do these videos uh, because um, I do meet with people. I mean, I want to get more, obviously, more subscribers and more, um, you know, people following me, but. Um, you know, I'm sure that uh, some of my friends uh, look at my uh, Facebook um, posts and YouTube posts and, you know, the, the 18 subscribers I have in, um, uh, what do you call it, on, um, on YouTube. I mean, basically, I'm, I'm getting subscribers who really matter, subscribers who, you know, actually watch the video. And actually respond, you know, with with something of uh, you know value to my video uh, because I do like to make really quality videos that um, a lot of people just look at and say, you know, yeah, this is uh, this you know this is where you get your work from. <laughs> this is why you like the arts. And um, <laughs> so yeah, definitely this uh, David Bowie character of uh, Space Oddity. He's, Pretty much in, in, I think, 2008, when I heard Space Society, that was, that was pretty much it. That was kind of, that's what, you know, then I followed him from then on. So, uh, because I was, uh, it was, Space Society is, is, is one of those songs where it's, uh, it's on a different level. Um, I guess it's on a different wavelength, if you can call it. It's, it's on a different level of, uh, of music, and it, and it definitely, you know, as I'm reading now, I didn't know that there was so much um, significance behind this song. Um, it's called Let's Dance, and it's a great, great song. Uh, it's kind of, and like I was saying before, the um, the homosexual part, um, you know, like that. I, it's sort of the it's sort of the the comedy behind homosexuality and what homosexuality is and as far as you know uh, jokes about it and it is pretty much funny and it you know it should be funny because it's a uh, it's a uh, you know a lot of people are scared about it and um, you know which they shouldn't it kind of should be just you know it's just here you know so uh, but I look at you know I look at the, the comedy part of homosexuality and uh, which is huge which is beyond huge which is probably the funniest thing um, ever to uh, ever just it's just I don't know why but it's funny I don't I have no idea why but it just is and um, uh, you know maybe because I'm gay I don't know but, uh, so yeah, Dancing to Bowie's tune still resonates 30 years on. So, and this is by Ed Gibbs, May 6, 2013. So, going down, I mean, I definitely saw this about the red shoes and about, you know, David working with, um, was an Australian, Joel and King, 30 years ago on Broadway with David Bowie, where she was filmed scrubbing the road. Okay, and basically, you know, this goes back to the, um, uh, I believe it was uh, what uh, Bruno Mars had with the piano. They had a piano piece also here, and he was dragging the piano. And it was the same thing with the, um, uh, what do you call it, um, the male character. And, and she actually says, this this guy, the, um, the male character on the right here, um, uh, Terry Roberts. Or wait a minute, no, um, I don't... I don't see what his name is, but see, he, this is, this is a thing that he did. He talked with the, he actually got, you know, the Australian people. He didn't get just actors, okay? He didn't get actors. He actually got the Australian people and he talked to them and, he, you know, he just said, you know, you know, do this, this. He actually, you know, did that, which, you know, as far as like Hollywood goes, yeah, and this is a uh, Aboriginal dancer, Jolene King today. Photo Edwina Pickles. So, um, yeah, and he actually uh, he did a really nice thing here. Um, 
Yeah, and she says, Now 52, King is happy to have had her 15 minutes of fame at a time when reality, when reality TV didn't exist and there was no internet. Today she lives a quiet life in Sydney's West, uh, close to where she grew up with her partner of 12 years. So... Okay, her extended family, she is the eldest of 12 siblings. So basically, you know, my main thing is that he... Okay, so here we go. Uh, Bowie paid King and Roberts. King says they each received $1,000 for five days' work and were given VIP access when the performer returned that year for a concert tour. So doing that kind of thing, I mean, um, you know, first of all, he... Uh, I'm, well, it's probably in Australia, so, um, you know, he handpicked the actors, the, the actor and actress, regular people, he handpicked them, uh, which, you know, all movie producers should do, you should literally handpick for a great movie, um, and he, so Bowie and Terry Roberts discussing the script, <clears throat> so yeah, and he wrote a script for it, and he got the machine, he got the actual machine from the, or actually it, was, it wasn't the piano, it was a machine that he was pulling, it was a machine that he was pulling, and um, so yeah, and this kind of article got me, uh, this, this is the Let's Dance article, so, you know, about the two red shoes, which um, I believe they were, um, okay, Let's Dance video, it's here, it's very good, they not what we told, Rolling Stone magazine at the time that he wanted to make a political statement was the clip, one that illustrated the harsh realities of life for indigenous Australians. Okay, so basically he wanted to make political statement um, for that. Okay, uh, you know, it's just a statement. A sta you can make a statement, you know, all the time. Uh, the problem, you know, the problem with, I believe, with John Lennon was that he was going, you know, against the government, and he, you know, pretty much if you go against the government, then you will, you know, you will not be, um, you know, you will not be liked, you will not be just, you know, it'll be, it'll be a very bad situation if you go against the government. Um, just leave it at that. <laughs> um, so, so yeah. Um, I didn't foresee it would be so insightful to original people, so so inspiring for them to see one of their own up there on the TV. So, see, I, I didn't foresee it would be so influential to ab Aboriginal people, so inspiring for them to see one of their own up there on TV. So, you know, this, like, when I'm talking about, like, the, uh, the basement, um, as far as the Joseph Fritzl idea, it's pretty much, you know, having actual people in the film, you know, that kind of makes it, that makes it real, that makes it, um, that makes it genuine, genuine, um, so, and that's kind of what I look at, too, when I'm doing music or when I'm doing um, any kind of videos or when, I, when I'm doing these conversations, that it's um, not just, you know, uh, it's not just, what do you call it, uh, it's not just, here you go, here it is, you know, it's awesome, it's great, it's going to do, it's going to do so good everywhere, oh my god, you know, it's actually, you know, hand-picked work that, you know, as, as far as this uh, singer um, did, and it's, you know, it, it kind of, he kind of, <clears throat> this kind of gives uh, movie producers um, the, the old style of, uh, of movie production or musician, the, the old style of, of music production where, you know, where now we have the, and it's cool, like you have the, um, like I was talking about before, the Kanye West music, he actually gets into more of the, uh, the artistic parts, the, the things that, you know, he planned out, he made. Um, uh, and I mean, like, uh, like rap right now is a, is a big thing. And I love rap. I love, um, uh, I think, uh, Wiggle, Wiggle, Wiggle by uh, Snoop Dogg. I love that song. That, uh, I keep that on all the time. I really love that song. Um, <laughs> Especially when I'm going towards downtown or when I'm at downtown. I love that song, you know, when anyone turns that on. Um, and the video is also very creative, very awesome. Um, I love that. Uh, I think uh, Jason Derulo is in that. Uh, it's very cool. Um, uh, but yeah, uh, you know, and there's a nice video. I'd like to this. be fairly committed to contributing my... Um, uh, points on, on what are the immoralities of the world. Yeah, this is actual video here in 1983, so 
All right, I'm going to end this video with a uh, Blue Orchid Design Studio LLC, BLDS, uh, and the copyright. And my name is Edgar Zotev. Uh, thank you.